Okay, hi everyone. So we're going to continue our discussion about classes and objects in Java in our object-oriented programming from sensors to actuators class. All right. So today we're going to be talking about methods. So it'll be a part one of part or of two parts. And once again, there is a great book that you can take a look at uh, in the York U library. The links to it are right there. All right. So in object-oriented programming, we often talk about, we really have to talk about methods. And methods, if you're coming from the perspective of uh, procedural pro programming, like in C or MATLAB or, or whatever, um, methods are basically functions. Okay. Don't tell anyone, but basically they're the same thing. Um, and so a, a method is a named block of code and it's reusable. And that's, that's really nice. And just like functions were more or less in procedural programming languages like MATLAB, etc. Now, just like those functions, uh, a method um, has different parts to it. There are these inputs to it, there are these outputs to it, and then there are names, and, and then there's, in the middle, there's this implementation business. So we start off and we, we want to talk about, there's a header, okay? So the header of the method consists of a return type, okay? And it could be like an integer or a floating point number or a string or something like that. And, and sometimes it can also be, well, basically nothing, void. You also have the met the name of the method. Okay, so the name of the method could be well all sorts of different things, and uh, and typically we want to use a name for this method that um, signifies what it does. You can also have uh, zero or more parameter names. We often have parameters um, that that are involved with with methods, and uh, and these input parameters, they can also have or they should have types. So you have one particular parameter and you want to say that it's an integer or you have another type of parameter um, that might be a floating point or a string or something like that. Now a call to a method, so the method will call it M, okay, but it could be, you know, uh, my method, right? Oops, like that. So a call to a method M has the form of, there's the name of the method right there, then you have a parenthesis like this, and you've seen this in, in usage in, in the class, right? And uh, and then in between these parentheses right here, you're going to have the uh, the input arguments, and, and you could have none of them, or you could have one or two or n. The types of these arguments, okay, and the arguments are a1 and a2, etc., must match the corresponding parameter types. So when we're talking about the parameter types, we're talking about how it's defined. And when we're talking about the argument type or values, we're talking about how it's used. But basically, it's the same thing, an input parameter or an input argument. Now, in the body of the method, so that's that's where the, the all the work happens inside of the method. That's in between the curly braces. You want to uh, declare and use uh, new local variables. Okay, and they're local uh, because what we're trying to do is distinguish between um, different scopes or different... Um, uh, zones in which the, the variables are allowed to be used. So these variables are local, so it means they're used inside of the method only. So the scope of local variables is only within that method. We uh, can uh, use or change values of attributes, so attributes being in the class, okay, in which the, the method is found. And um, we use values of parameters, so those are the things that are the inputs inside of the, uh, the, the, um, the parentheses, the Sometimes we'll call them arguments, depending on the context, okay? And so what you have here is you have this class, okay? And the class, again, is a blueprint that allows us to create objects. And uh, and in it, we've got, for instance, this attribute right here, um, nationality, okay, of type string. And then right here, we have, uh, right there, we have a method, okay? And the name of the method is change nationality. It ret its return type is void, so it doesn't return anything. Its input parameter, okay, is um, new nationality. Now, this is in the definition. When we use it, we'll call it an argument. Uh, and that new nationality is of type string. And then inside here, what you're seeing is that that input parameter right here is going to be interacting with, it's going to be assigned to the um, uh, this right here, this attribute of the class. So we can call a method, and when we do, we call it with respect to a context object. Okay, that's with that dot notation, um, and by passing arguments in. So here's an example. So we have a class. This could be your main class, it could be something, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Well, and then inside here, you've got your main method. 
right? So we've all seen these main methods before. And so inside of the main, main method, we create two objects. The first object is called Jim. The second called the one, the second one right here is called Jonathan. They're of type person and the constructor for Jim and for Jonathan are here and here. Okay. I'm just using uh, square brace uh, brackets right here just to show the sort of the beginning end. We don't actually put square brackets in. Okay. So I'm just highlighting where they are. So the constructor for Jim shows that Jim is supposed to be a, a type person, has an age of 50 and has nationality initially of uh, British. Okay. And then Jonathan is, uh, is set up to, to be older. So age 60 uh, and has a Canadian nationality. Now, afterwards, you know, down the road somewhere in, in, in our main uh, method right here, okay, we want to change uh, the nationality for Jim and we want to change the nationality for Jonathan. How do we do that? Well, we call up the context object, okay, so we say that it's the Jim object and the Jonathan object, and we say dot, okay, so we want to apply to that object a method, the change nationality method. Where did that come from? It came from up here, okay, inside of the class where it was defined. And, uh, and we're going to pass an argument to it inside of the, the, uh, the parentheses. And we're going we're gonna to say that uh, Jim is renouncing his British citizenship and is now becoming uh, Korean in, in citizenship or nationality. Okay. Same with Jonathan. Jonathan, same thing. Um, Jonathan's decided to move to Korea and is going to become Korean and uh, takes on a new nationality. And so we're going to assign a Korean nationality to Jonathan right there. Okay. And there you have it. That's uh, methods in a nutshell.